Hi guys, it's Domestic Chris here with another episode of Mickey Money Monday. And I totally thought I filmed this earlier today. <laughs> I recorded a video actually on my laptop camera. I wanted to try that out, but I didn't figure it out because when I went to try to upload the footage, it didn't exist. I hadn't recorded it actually. So instead you're seeing me post run looking a little funky. But that's okay because I'm training for the dopey and the light side and the dark side and all those run Disney races <laughs> for next year. So speaking of run Disney races and the dark side, I told you guys last week that registration was coming up for that on Tuesday. I was able to register for the dark side challenge, which should give me the Kessel medal for running both of the um, Star Wars challenge races or participating in both Star Wars events. So I'm super excited about that. And I have come up with my budget for that trip. And this includes my friend and I staying three nights at a Walt Disney World Resort, um, flights and food and souvenirs. I'm not going to price tickets because I have an annual pass and for my friend, we are going to probably ask my aunt to help us get her in. If I decide not to do that, um, we'll see what we can do um, or see if she can get her tickets. And I hear there's a new annual pass holder perk where you can purchase tickets for $79 for a one day pass. Um, up to six of those at one time, but you have to be present at a park. You have to be present as a pass holder with your up to six guests. And it's good for one day. And I actually think it's a park hopper pass if I um, read that information correctly. So that's super exciting. So I may do that. So here's the budget. $600 for a room at a Walt Disney World Resort. I have not booked this yet. I mentioned before, I think that um, during the race weekend in January, I'm hoping to be able to book a bounce back or use some kind of pass holder rate or something like that to get a resort for this trip uh, at this time based on what's currently available and pricing for a you know a value resort like all-star movies or something um, it's gonna be about six hundred dollars then it's gonna be five hundred dollars for the two of us to fly on Southwest which is crazy because that's just a little more than I paid for myself um, to go to California so um, or at least what I had budgeted so that's based on the current prices for Southwest. I'm also sort of hoping that as we get a little closer, maybe that um, Southwest Vacations will open up some sort of deal bundle with a WDW um, resort as well as a flight. When I looked on there, they just didn't have anything available for that time at this time. And finally, $600 for food and souvenirs. Um, I kind of priced a vacation and based on what they would plan for a, um, the regular dining plan, you know, one table service, one um, dining uh, quick service, two snack credits and a drink would be about $400 for the two of us. So I know that by using tables in Wonderland that um, we can beat that price. So um, $600 for food and souvenirs, uh, I feel is plenty. And so that's $1,700 and $351.78 is what I paid for my race registration already. So we're looking at a budget of $2,051.78 for two people to go to Walt Disney World. Remember that does not include tickets for one of those people. Um, I'm gonna kind of wing it and we'll see how it goes. As I said, we're gonna to plan to use the um, family pass as long as that's okay with them. We wanna make sure that we do stay at Walt Disney World Resort so that we can take advantage of the Magical Express and which will take us from the Orlando International Airport to the resort hotel at no additional cost and will also bring us home. While we are there, we will use um, Disney transportation to get us around. Um, if we really need to, we could get an Uber or a taxi, but because we're just really hanging out on Disney time, I don't anticipate that we will need that. We really just want to do cheap and take advantage of the free opportunities for um, travel that we can. Uh, something I want to mention real quick that's a, a change to my current January trip is that I have decided to cancel my Sanaa uh, reg um, reservation for 
uh, the first night that we're there when we're going to Hollywood Studios and to kind of forget about Hoopty Doo for this trip because I really don't want to miss Fantasmic. That's potentially probably the only day we're going to have at Hollywood Studios and my girls really loved that when we were there um, last summer. And so I don't want to miss that. And then they totally have um, at Hollywood and Vine for dinner, um, Minnie's special dining and it'll still be like Christmas themed. And so we'll be able to get some really great character photos with the Fab Five. And I'm super excited about that. So that actually works out really great. And that way we can watch Fantasmic. I can't do a Fantasmic dining package though, because I'm going to be using Tables in Wonderland discount and they don't allow you to do um, discounts when you're getting the Fantasmic package. We tried that last summer during um, our lunch date where we saw the Disney um, Junior characters and when my aunt um, went to use her discount, they told us we could not. They actually legit took the Fantasmic passes that they had already given to us away from us. <laughs> so you can't combine that. Um, and it says that online. So anyhow, we'll just stay in the park and get to watch Fantasmic and get to see Minnie Mouse. And I'm really excited about that. So because of that, I am definitely going to try to book Hoop Dee Doo Review for my friend and I when we go to our trip in April. All right, so now that we've got the budget set up, let's talk about how much money I've been able to save this week. This week I saved $15 with um, Imperks at Meyer. They had a $5 off a $50 Meyer gift card. 10% off your groceries right off the bat, right? So I have access to three Imperk accounts. I purchased three $50 gift cards, saving me $15, which is going in the fun. I saved $1.50 with a Speedway reward drink. My husband got a fountain Coke the other night and $14.52 in my big fat check from eBay. So woohoo, a total savings this week of $31.02. I wanna thank you guys so very much for watching every week. If you're new here, please subscribe. <laughs> Somewhere there's a little dollar bill in the corner. You can hit that or the button underneath the picture. I'd really appreciate it. I do this every Monday. I tell you guys about some sort of Disney tip or plan for my trip. And I also let you know what our savings plans are and how we're making this money to go on this Disney trip. I have three Disney trips planned in 2017, two to Walt Disney World, one to Disneyland. And I hope that you will join me on this journey. Let me know if you're planning any Disney trips, if you use any of these tips to help with you uh, saving money for your trips. And again, I just want to thank you so very much. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any questions, please put it in the comments below. So until next week's guys, I'll see you real soon.